Yes, we've got it. Can we play Queen We Are The Champions? Oh no, it's copyrighted. Just imagine it in your head. We've got it, the Leica M9P. Here it is. But you see, there's one tiny little snag. This M9P is actually owned by one of the board of directors of Digital Rev. And he mentioned that he doesn't trust me to hold it because he thinks that I'll drop it or something like that. So I have to do this presentation like this. Can't touch it, can only point at it. That's gonna be interesting, isn't it? To prevent our video from being a complete and utter disaster, we came up with a win-win solution. A woman. All right, okay, change of clothes. So, technically, it won't be me touching it if it isn't me touching it. So we've got a model here to do the business for us. So I'll just sit here and uh, do nothing. So what do you get in the M9P box? You get a lovely silver instruction manual set. And inside we've got a battery that was dropped. So uh, we can edit that bit out. USB cable, a strap for some strap-on fun, a charger, compact charger, not like the big bulky M8 charger. Here we have the cable to plug into your car, probably your Porsche 911, I guess, and for some other countries, because you're probably an international man of mystery if you own one of these. And last but not least, the camera itself. Ding, da, ding, da, ding, 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 ding. And it's got a little condom on it just to protect it from AIDS. Here we go. Look at that. This is the M9P. And like the M9, this is the world's smallest full frame camera. Look at that. Nice compact body even more compact than hers and tougher because this is made from magnesium alloy and the top and bottom made out of brass which is probably a bit different to hers. Now technically this is pretty much the same as the M9. It's got the same amount of megapixels, the same 0.72 magnification viewfinder, anything that is powered by electricity inside this camera. It's the same as the M9. Now that really is a beautiful bit of kit, this camera. It seems like such a waste to be just holding it in the studio here. So I decided to take it out on the streets of Hong Kong, without touching it of course, to highlight what the difference is between this and the M9. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Leica M9P. And you're probably asking, what's different? Well, you can see, this is the black paint version. And it's very, very nice. Um, unfortunately, I can't take it out for you. So uh, let's do this. Aha, there you go. You see on the top plate, they've got the Leica Camera AG Germany engraving there which is reminiscent of the old M3 and M2. Now this is actually engraved into the brass top plate rather than just painted on. And then, he obviously treats this like his wife, so he doesn't want other men to get their fingers on, you know, whatever. Da-da, magic. And on the back you see, a nice sapphire crystal screen protector there, which makes it very scratch resistant. And if you drop your camera, even if the rest of the camera is broken, the screen will still be working, probably not. But at least it will be free of scratches.
on the front you see that there's a complete lack of any M9 logo and the Leica red dot which has a little screw in place of it which is just like the old M2, M3 and the MP cameras which gives it a more stealthy look and when you have this black paint it looks very sleek indeed. You see the sapphire crystal covering on this is actually seen on some other watches when they're being scratched on various things that you encounter in daily life. Car accidents, chainsaw wielding monsters, zombies, vampires. I think this is one sexy time camera and I wanted to show the Hong Kong people this sexy loveliness but they weren't so impressed. A true masterpiece, the M9P. Check this out, because you'll probably never see it again. You know, I don't want to show off or anything, but uh, it's brand new. Let's see if these guys are interested. No, I don't think so. You see, not everybody will be able to tell the differences between the M9 and an M9P because they are quite subtle. Then there are some that will scoff at the fact that you have to pay more for these subtle changes. You see, it might not seem like much, but this, in fact, is a realisation of all the inner deepest desires of those Leica fans out there, including myself. It's like buying a Porsche 911 and then having the options list where you can change the wheels, the seats, or even the colour of the seat belts. It won't make your car any faster, the performance is still the same, but at the end of the day it's the minute little details that makes the owner a lot happier. Unfortunately, the happiness lasted no longer for me as I had to give the camera back.